Here, I'll give you the sensor. Future. Future is future. B H U T U R E. B who turns energy spiral. So basically, B the axis is future. If one has no concern for future, one will have no station in ignoring P. How many in this well are really concerned for their future is seen easily in this light. Nothing to be said. There is nothing to be said to beings who don't care about the future of their own self-being. The only voice they will get to hear is that of consequences. A state of constant surprise. There are too many here that think they are some invisible, invincible supreme being who will face no consequence for their actions. Finally, when the consequences arrive, like the vomiting and nausea after boozing, they are well surprised. They are surprised each and every time. Any consequence comes back to them for their actions, which are, of course, done without any real knowing. Sums up the whole Muggle World Kindergarten Society out there, a constant state of surprise and bewilderment how things go so bad suddenly. Consequences. Most people do what they do only because they simply do not know the consequences of what they do. If they did know the, concentric, the concentric sequences that follow, most would not do the deeds they do. That's why knowledge of consequences is the real knowledge. The real seeing of seers. Principle operating system. Life is but a joke. Is the principle operating system of most on this planet? Of course, some beings stick to their principles more than others. Thus, only some are on the front line. Whether on the front line or back line, there has to be a conscious decision to fully uninstall the principal operating system and properly install a new future-centric one. Life is serious business with serious consequences. The fact people have a habit of projecting their notions of part knowledge as facts, but in reality they don't know a single fact worth knowing. A real fact is one which helps get one out of hell and break out of the 3D matrix. If only they could admit they don't really know any fact, they could at least begin on the path of learning facts. Stairway to heaven. Only real stairway to heaven is the stairway of facts. Sticking to facts. With facts, just perceiving them is not good enough. Sticking to them in speech and action is much more important. Of course. Facts. Facts. Real spelling. P-H-X. So X done as per P, the X is that sees it all for what it is. The one and only disease. On the surface, there appear to be many diseases plaguing beings on this planet. Lotus Ocean, however, sees only one disease, which is not being able to state the obvious truth. People lie to each other about each other's state every day trillions of times. Straightforward speaking out of obvious perception is looked down upon like a cardinal sin. Petty egos have to be saved, blushes at all costs. This vow of never speaking out of truth leads to a real dis-ease within the self and then the world. If people just practice speaking what is as is without crazy agendas, 
all diseases are sure to disappear. Evil was only born from not, that, from not wanting to speak of the obvious divinity of divine. Praise facts. Acknowledging facts, ASA facts, speaking facts, reiterating facts, is what automatically leads to praise of higher and divine. So if one can simply roll along with facts flow, one can pray, one can praise either and one will devolve. One will devolve. Mute idols and living God. After playing around with mute idols for millennia, the masses are not ready for living God. They would rather have a mum empty idol who doesn't answer back. Who can they who they can treat in any which way? Put in any kind of dinghy cage, throw any kind of stuff at, ask any kind of unwholesome favors. A living God is a passionate force, too hot for them to indulge in their insincere ways. God and pain. One of the biggest misconceptions, God is in everyone, everywhere, everything. How God is not in everything can be understood in many ways. There is a scientific way, a psychological way, and a consciousness way. These ways are all ultimately connected. The best and most simplest way, however, is to understand it in terms of pain and painlessness. For example, God doesn't exist in PlayStation, which at the end of the day lowers consciousness and brings pain to the players in terms of physical and astral. You see, God is not into pain and godliness. And godliness is a state of conscious painlessness. That's it. God is not into pain. And godliness is a state of conscious painlessness. Realms of pain, torture, and karmic bondage having, having nothing to do with God. The real God never intended creation to be like that. Ultimately, all is one. Yes, you ask. I say no. These kind of assumptions only suit the evil demiurge plan at the end of the day. People think that all is one and consequently they are accepting of everyone as they are, which in the end plays straight into the hands of the manipulators. They want you to accept them and in doing so suffer at their ends. For example, a female with this mindset and logic will go ahead and sleep with any male. Because after all, all is one and what's the arm? As a result, her vibration go down further and the spider webs tighten. This attitude doesn't allow one to break from this matrix of pain. All is connected is more a half statement than all is one. A good education tool to teach people the effects of actions. The multiverse emanated from the One. In time, the energies at certain levels of this multiverse were manipulated to create something ungodly, pain. It became painful, full of pain in course of time. And in these ungodly realms, more and more artificial stuff keeps on getting created. Bionics, robots, clones, soulless android, etc. There exist realms which have no pain, emotional, psychological, or physical. There, everything is godly because they maintain connection with the Divine One at all points. There, uh, the beings with which deliberately sever ser ser that connection create ungodly realms, which are not part of the One, simply because they don't adhere to the One's specifications for creations. Such creations obviously involve a whole lot of pain, torture, and work on maxims like no pain, no gain. 
So you can understand godliness as a kind of way, not a thing or substance. Most of this 3D physical realm on this planet is not functioning by that way and thus is not godly. What physical and psychological pain is can be understood scientifically and that's where true science like sacred geometry comes in. So yes, everything is not God. There is a moving away from God and that's why there is pain.